what to do, y'all. I'm back with another video. And y'all, I'm coming for y'all from the bathroom. I know y'all can tell the sound in the bathroom may sound like it's hollow or slow. But yeah, y'all, um, I'm excited. I'm from the bathroom because I want to do an intro in here. Not my intro, just let y'all know what's going on in here because they don't want me recording there because when we get ready to deliver, they tell me you can't touch the camera or whatever. But I'm gonna try to call as much as I can. Not exposing her nothing. I'm gonna try to call her if I can. But even though my daughter, I am not such a now. My daughter I'm not is in labor. And it happened so fast that we was not even able to like um start from the house because she literally had been um like let me first of all start with him. Today is February the first. Well actually February the seventh. She wouldn't make a February the Actually, January the 31st, when it started. February the 1st, we back, we was in the hospital. She's been in active labor. I'm talking about the labor is coming. She's every five minutes. And I said, y'all bounce. It's like every five minutes or so, she is like having labor pains. So, they, um, and y'all, we got here, she was already at five centimeters. Five. And then once they kind of prepped and got up in the um, room, whatever, up into labor and delivery, we started out in triage. When we got out of triage, when they put it in labor and delivery, got her up here, she is already at 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. Literally ready to push. But here's the thing the baby's coming too early. So they have gave, they are not giving her steroids to keep the baby in so that he don't come early because um, they say if he come early, maybe his lungs not developed quite and they don't want him to come in with his lungs not developed. So they give him steroid shots to help his lungs develop. So I'm kind of excited for him to come down. I'm excited for him to stay in there a little longer because I don't want to come early and be in the NICU until he get full term because he wasn't due to March the 24th. So yeah, he is coming way early. But y'all know we can't keep these babies in there like that. If a baby, the thing about it, we don't even know when when they ready to come out, they ready to come out. Ain't no hold them in there. And he is ready. He done said he been in long enough. He had tried to stay in his mom, so he wanna come out. And he wanna meet his beautiful grandmother. <laughs> That's why he come here. <laughs> but anywho, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch as much as I can and try to call as much as I can. Uh, so far, there have been two of us in the hospital at a time. So me and, of course, the baby father, Black, is in here. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to call because the nurses like they watching everything they do. So that's why I'm probably sounding low and whispering because um, um, and then the thing about now she's ten centimeters, and they told her don't push. So she's sitting on the bed. She's like, Mama. I'm coming out. I'm like, what? So I said, hold on, because I can't deliver. So I look down between her legs and this big gold, like this big clear bubble coming out. I think it's the baby head. I'm like, oh, no. I said, go. Um, I call the nurse. They come in and they check her, and it's just the water bag. The water bag is bulging out. You ready to like come out? So this baby is definitely going to be here in time today, um, which is February the 2nd. So yeah. let's see if I can go in. You know. And um, catch y'all. I'll put y'all on the dock for a minute. It's dark in here. Oh, we got company. <laughs> I smell some cologne. It smells good. Um, okay, well, I don't have to cut the light on. I was gonna cut the light on so y'all can see. But the picture is y'all. This is the womb, in fact. This is the baby. The um y'all see how these things work. This is the baby's um interaction. Like tell you how the labor pains are going. They came in earlier, y'all, brought about mm, earlier, we're talking about maybe 10, 10 30. And it gave her epi uh, epidural. So it pretty much relaxed her because she was in so much pain. And now she is um <laughs> Sorry, now you feeling better? She is out of pain, but she, I know she's ready to push the dad to be here to take him a nap over there. But this is the room, y'all. And they got her on all this medication. I'm telling y'all about They got her on the eye, of course, the IV. Then she got this is for those the, uh, the steroids to help the baby. 
so that when he comes out, his lungs, if he's not already, so his lungs can be developed a little better. She, like I said, she did have the epidural. It helped her rest to relax a little better. This is the room they got us in, y'all. It's the labor and delivery room. This is what the baby gonna be delivered at. And um, this is where when he comes out, he will be getting weighed and I think, you know, weighed and whatever. I don't know whether they bathe him in the room or not in a minute. And all the other little stuff. The room is warm and chilled. I was in this bathroom when I was talking to y'all earlier. I had to do my little intro in the bathroom. But they got the spot <laughs> over here. So you can wash your hands and stuff. I'm a clean freak. I've been cleaning my hands. I've been washing my hands every day for five. Where your phone at? Five minutes or so. But yeah, um, hold on. Let me get your phone. Hold on, y'all. She went. Um, let me take it off charge. Oh, snap. Here you go. A few minutes ago, she wouldn't stun no phone. My bad, because you know, it's doing it because I got the, uh, what you got on? Let me see your belly right quick, now. I ain't going to expose nothing else. Just your belly. Y'all, she got a little round pop up. Now, there's going to be some good memories, though. I don't know if you want me to recall from your phone or not. Yo. All right, you can cut it in here. So we gonna just wait until baby gets here. Definitely gonna be, she is in active, active labor. He has a good heartbeat. It keeps going up and down, but as you can see, the heartbeat, the heart rate is very good. So, we just in here waiting on baby. We was um, in the park a lot earlier. They wouldn't let the two of us up. <laughs> um, her brother, her sister-in-law, and all of them. I'm trying to camera. I had to keep, I can get a little light on me because I didn't want to keep putting a light on their face and wake them up. But yeah, her brother and all of them in the parking lot, but they um, all went home because it was about, hmm, like what time is on your phone? What time is it? Yeah. 1.16? It's one sixteen now. We um we actually got admitted up here. We came up here about, um, I want to say, by 6.30, maybe, when we got up here and got her in. She was at 5 centimeters, and then at 10 o'clock, she was at 10 centimeters. So, yeah, they really were trying to hold the baby in her, like I said, because they don't want him to come early because of the fact that she is early. She is only about, she only 32 weeks. Um, he was supposed to be here until March the, um, to March the um, 24th, so he is very early. This is only February the 2nd, and we've been, yeah. I'm excited to see him, but I'm even more excited to make sure he get here healthy and, you know, without any complications. That's all my thing I want. I don't want him to catch corona in this hospital. So, because if he come out early now, he got to go to another hospital that actually can better care for him. And then she got to stay over here. So, I want him to be in NICU. So, we're just praying and hoping that all goes well, you know. When they do get ready to come in and get her to start pushing or delivery, if everything goes well, I'm going to come back and let y'all see what we Okay, let's see. I'm not gonna put the phone down there. Let me cover it up. But she said she heard something pop. These doctors trying to wait. These nurses, they do the little, the RNs, do a little part, and then they'll leave out of here because they don't want to do the part when she get ready to actually push the baby out. But she said she felt like something popped, or she felt like her water broke. Oh, not I'm not gonna put you on the camera on this part. Let me just see if I see something coming out. We just gonna make sure it ain't the baby coming out. Shine your light down there. I want to shine my camera. Yeah, that's your water that broke. That's the water that broke. Remember we were buzzing out early? Mm -hmm. And now it's full of bust, and they know when the water break, the baby coming after that. They keep on trying to prolong and wait on the doctor to come. I don't know why they do that, y'all. They wait till the doctor, they wait till you done big out them on your verge of pushing. You done got to 10 centimeters, and then they want to say, well, let me go get doctor. Doctor finna be late, baby. He want to get paid for the liver, but he finna be here. The baby finna be, be him to the, back to the hospital. But um, we waiting on the doctor to come. But her water had her water just broke, so I guess they're gonna come back again and let her know her water broke, so that they can go ahead and um uh, see what's the next step. When they came in and gave her that epidural, it kind of slowed it, slowed the uh her pain down, but it also slowed down the uh, process of the uh, of him of her having the urge to push her baby want to come on out. So waiting on them, y'all.
this is like really My heart is actually, she just did me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. You said what, yesterday? Oh, she's trying to, she was texting down.
Joseph's baby here. This. Four, one, two, three. There you go. Please. Try to get a picture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He look big. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to say how much. I'm going to much he weigh because he look big for um, <laughs> look, <laughs> black, you know? 32 weeks. Yeah. Healthy. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, Dr. Bridge. You did it again. <laughs> you did. <laughs> You okay now? You feel better now, don't you? Hmm. Black got a baby. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Oh, look at it. All right, Mama, we're going to let you see real quick and take a real quick picture, and then we're going to take them to the next one, okay? Peggy's so mm -mm. cute. So she just... early. But he looks good. I'm trying to get him. In the face. He got a head full of hell. Can you lift your bottom at all? To be a boy. Mm -hmm. Can you lift your bottom <laughs> up to the thing? Mm-hmm. I want to get a picture. Um, Lee. 